Hi, it's Richard Barrett here for Guitarist Magazine with the Framus Idolmaker Pro. As you can see, it's a two humbucker guitar and it's got this slightly Firebird inspired construction. It's mahogany neck and body with this maple insert with an ebony fretboard. But just to get back to the body for a second, we have quite an unusual contour here. This kind of body is known for being quite a heavy lump to carry round from things like the Firebird in the past. Well, we don't have that problem with this body. And let me just hold up the body at some different angles. You can see it really slims down. And if I bring it round, especially where your elbow rests. So it's been beautifully done, actually. Um, though the full thickness of the body, just roughly the width of a Les Paul, maybe slightly less. So you've got a high gloss finish on the maple top and an open pour matte finish mahogany on the neck and the majority of the body, all the mahogany parts, basically. Okay, to get a little bit more into the hardware, we have Graftec tuners here. And these have been uh, judged very carefully. The ratio going down through the tuners has been worked out so that you get about a tone for each single revolution of the button. So respect them just alone for working that out. In practice, I haven't had to do an awful lot of tuning, really. It's been pretty stable. The nut is a Graftec. 22 jumbo frets. These are nickel silver frets, not stainless steel or anything like that. Uh, just a little bit tricky to get up to the 22nd fret because of this lower horn, must admit. Uh, going down to the pickups, well, we have a pretty traditional setup here. We have the SH1, also known as the 59, in the neck. That's approaching 7.5k and almost exactly 50% of that power with the tone control pulled out to split the coils. Bridge, well, that's the classic SH4 known as the JB. So in its full humbucker mode, you're looking at approaching 16K and half of that with the tone control pulled out. Three-way selector and master volume and master tone. So perhaps now would be a good time to just have a listen. I've played quite a rocky track. It feels to me like with a powerful humbucker like that in the bridge, this guitar wants to play rock. But let's have a listen to some clean tones, starting with the neck. <laughs> So it can do that kind of sound. And then if I pull this out, it's gonna get a bit quieter. That's just the screw coil. Okay, let's go for both. Then split. So it's a very valid voice, actually, a valid alternative voice for this guitar, this bridge. You can really hear the power there. We've managed to get a clean sound, or very much on the clean side, but uh, the JB isn't, to be honest, designed with that in mind. Loads of thick mids, and then pulling up. Really changes it. Okay, now that we've talked about the pickups, I guess I should finish off with the rest of the hardware here. Tone Pros, these lock into position. So you could, in theory, take all the strings off to change them and clean the fretboard without risking things going out of adjustment or falling off. And the theory goes that there's better transfer of vibration into the body. Well, can't be a bad thing. Also, um, screw top adjusters, which is a nice touch. Now, I've played a track on this with a bit of gain on it. I think that that's very much this guitar's natural habitat. Hope you enjoy it.